Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. Okay, in this session we are going to deal with the new section and make one in our site. Here, for instance, we are going to set a text input so that the users can be or see their email or phone number. Okay, and they are going to be able to send their phone number and email to us so that we can send them the latest news and we keep in touch with them through that email or phone number. At first, I need to set an input here. So I need to go to the master folder, the front master folder. All right. Let's see. Here, the master. We need to look for it in the footer section of our codes. Okay, yeah, here, these are the front master codes. For instance, I set an input, and then I set the type as text. Let's see how it looks now. Okay, it looks like this. We need to give it a style to make it more aesthetically beautiful okay in the contact us section as you see we have the box over here in the contact us as you see we have the boxes we use the same style for this box for this one and let's see, I copy this input and set it in the master. Let's see how the site looks now. As you see, it looks like this. Okay. Now, I can set a BR over here to make some space between here uh, first we change the placeholder for instance input your email or phone number okay we set the name as txt txt and then I set a button call it submit type submit okay now let's see how it looks now Alright, this is the submit button. We better use a button like send again in the contact page. It has some styles. It depends on your format, which appearance for the boxes or buttons has been set. I refresh the page as you see over here. The background is black here, yeah, and because it is black, they are the same color. When the mouse moves, the color changes to green. This is the graphic side or the front side of the website. Let's change the button section in the background, make some changes. Let's see if it's possible or not. let's see 
if you want to make uh, some changes uh, if you decide to make some changes uh, you need to go to the CSS file and find the common style the classes that are for size and background can be found there and you can change the color over there now we have changed the background color the color is a little darker now you need to check this in a style and see what numbers or what levels of dark what shade the color is and how we can change it it exists on CSS in the appearance of the work uh, which if you check the style you can see the color section for instance you can see what color and model the background is uh, you can change the default background color from green so that when you move your mouse it would change colors I just made it a little darker so that it looks better and the green color is the same uh, we are not focused on the appearance of the site so we have focused on the back end throughout our course you need to set these two in a form so I make a form and uh, now my form needs an action to show to which view it needs to connect and it needs a method so that we know with which method it would do the change and we don't forget CSRS token CSRF token sorry that's it all right I made a form for my button I designed a form but the point here is that we need an app we need an app for the news feed and in this app what we do is that both the email and numbers will be saved so that the admin can see them both separately and on different sections of a list all right uh, to do this I make an app Python all right manage dot p by we need to choose a name for the app if I want to choose a name for my app I choose an English name for instance we set it as newsletter for instance that's right and news meaning newsletter we use newsletter instead of newsfeed okay you can give it any name you want with something that you can choose on your own doesn't make any difference which name you choose okay well we forgot something python manage dot py start app newsletter now it has been made the first thing I need to do in the project I need to add this let's see okay well, also in the URL we say yeah letter okay that's it now what I need to do I need to take care of the settings first I need to correct the model because we want to separate the phone numbers from the emails so we need to do this through a field I have a text and uh, this text as you see uh, it can be the phone or email I make another field if it was one it would be email and if it was two it would be the phone number okay I copy this all right and I call it 
let's see newsletter as we said we need a txt 50 character txt so that the user enters his phone number or email okay and we need a field we call this field status it shows us the status to see whether it is phone number or email and the type of it of uh, the type integer field okay here we say self dot txt now I have made two fields why do I need these two fields why the text or phone number and email are inside it and the status in order to save inside it the type of the text we can easily do it with a code in the view to know whether it is a phone number or email and discern the type of the text and then what we do is to give it a code for instance we say the ones which are email have the number one on them and the ones who are phone numbers get number two and to the admin we show the email with the status one and phone numbers with a status two okay all right and now what we need to do is to go to the view here and in the view and model would be newsletter okay uh, that's for the view we'll leave it empty for now we need to make a new file called urls dot py so let's make this file yeah okay that's it and then we have admin dot py as well okay yeah newsletter newsletter that's it uh, now our app has been made we have registered it in the admin uh, and now it's time to say python manage dot py make migrations all right and then we say python manage dot py migrate okay python manage dot py run server all right up to here our site has a new app called the newsletter we would want to have the phone number and the email of people on that app and show it to the admin on separate sections okay that's it for now